FX 509C spot test. Add 2.00 plus or minus 0.02 grams of the test material to the flask. Carefully heat sample material in the flask that does not flow smoothly at room temperature until the material will evenly coat the bottom of the flask in a thin film. Let the sample cool to room temperature. Use the burette or pipette to add 10.2 milliliters of the xylene heptane solvent to the flask. Immediately insert the stopper incorporating the 200 millimeter long glass tubing into the flask. Using a quick circular motion, swirl the flask for five seconds. Immediately immerse the flask to its neck in gently boiling water for 55 seconds. When the 55 second immersion time is complete, carefully take the flask from the water bath and swirl for five seconds. Repeat the immersion for 55 seconds and swirling for five seconds process each minute until the sample is fully dissolved in the solvent. Tilt the flask periodically to determine if the sample is fully dissolved. When the sample is fully dissolved, discontinue the boiling and swirling process. Lower the end of the glass tube below the level of the solution in the flask. Cool the flask and sample for 30 minutes to room temperature. Once cooled, warm the solution in the flask in a water bath at 32.0 plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Stir the sample thoroughly. While the sample is warm, use a clean stirring rod to place one drop of solution on the filter paper. Wait five minutes, then hold the paper at arm's length at a right angle to the observer's line of vision. Ensure that there is a good light source at the observer's back. Diffuse natural light is preferred. A drop that forms a darker solid or annular nucleus with a brown or yellowish brown circular stain should be reported as positive. For a drop that forms a uniformly brown circular stain, use the following procedure. Tightly stopper the flask and store at room temperature in low light conditions for 24 hours. After 24 hours, warm the solution in the flask in a water bath at 32.0 plus or minus 0.5 Celsius for 15 minutes. Stir the sample vigorously until the sample is again dissolved in solution. Place a drop of the solution on the filter paper. If the drop forms a uniformly circular dark stain, report the test as negative. If the drop now forms a darker solid or annular nucleus with a brown or yellowish brown circular stain, it should be reported as positive. If the test results are disputed, use the same sample and repeat the test from the beginning. Replace the loss of solution from testing with additional solvent. After the initial testing is complete, keep the flask and solution in low light conditions at 25.0 plus or minus 1.7 C until the 24 hour test is performed. Warm the solution in the flask in a water bath at 32.0 plus or minus 0.5 C for 15 minutes. Stir the sample thoroughly, then place a drop of the solution on the filter paper. If the test result is still in dispute, run the test once again as described. Prepare a glass plate as described in section 4.4. Hold the plate at a 45 degree angle and place a drop of the 24 hour age solution on it. Observe the solution as it flows down the plate. If a dull matted streak appears in the center of the path of the drop, report the test as positive. If the drop leaves a clear glossy brown film without the dull matted streak, report the test as negative.